How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing whether cryptocurrency is going to be getting worse in 2023 before it gets better. So we'll go through some ideas, we'll have a little bit of a think, then we'll come over to the charts, we'll do some analysis, um, and we'll see how we get on. I think 2023 is going to be a very interesting year. Uh, the first three months, January, February, March, should give us a little bit of an indication as to what we can expect going into the remainder of the year. So with that said, should we be looking to invest now or wait for a drop that may or may not come? This is a challenge for us as investors because when we look at the markets and let's say we take a look at Binance, just as a very quick example, you know, I have the expectation that Binance is going to be dropping lower to around about 200 and possibly even lower to around about 150. Okay. But what if that doesn't happen? What do we do with that information? Do we start to buy now? Do we just say, do you know what, I'm going to reduce my risk and I'm just going to buy less Binance now because I want to be in just in case it goes. For me, I would much rather look at the broader market and everything that's happening in terms of some of the things we've discussed recently and use that information to make a better informed decision instead of saying, okay, I'm just going to kind of go on my gut because I believe cryptocurrency is going to do really, really well. I don't want to sit through a drawdown then see price get back to break even, then see price rally, you know, whenever that's going to happen. And it is very possible that it doesn't happen for a long time. This is something that we also need to take into consideration because it may very well not happen this year. For all we know, this bearish sentiment or bearish tone as inflation continues to be a problem, as some of the challenges come in, CBDCs, regulation and so on, affect crypto to the point where it has a, another bearish year. This is something we need to consider as well. So confirmation is very important. We need to see something happening in the market. Uh, and when we do, then we can potentially engage. That's the way that I'm approaching this. Uh, and that's how I'm moving forward in 2023. Now, if we look at current market, or if we look at the current markets, there are many factors that can drive prices lower and not many that can drive prices higher. We've discussed this before and it bears repeating. I can't find any reason to put a relatively large amount of money back into the cryptocurrency market because there's just nothing there that gives me the confidence price is going to be bullish anytime soon. And because of that, I take a step back, I do a bunch of other things, I monitor the markets, and then I hope, you know, hopefully when the time comes, we can kind of take it from there, jump back into the markets when we've seen a little bit more engagement, you know. Um, managing you know, managing expectations and easing into the market is much safer than going all in without confirmation, you know, uh, that the market has changed. This is, again, very important. We can have a little bit of a nibble. If we believe that this year is going to be a positive year for cryptocurrency and we want to engage in cryptocurrency, why do that in a very risk or in a very risky way uh, when we can do it very, very safely? For example, purely hypothetical. You've got a thousand bucks. You're interested in getting involved in crypto. You're not really sure what to do. It's new to you you're a little bit mm, on the fence, you know, have a little bit of a nibble, take 50 pounds or $50, throw it into Bitcoin, for example, and just leave it there. This isn't financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to buy Bitcoin, obviously, but I'm just saying doing that is way, way safer than trying to throw yourself into the market with the full 1000 and then expecting this unrealistic expectation of 10x, 100x, 1000x, and these crazy numbers that sometimes get, you know, sort of spouted online when it comes to, you know, cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. And we are not out of the woods yet. We could see a rally and a harder drop. Very, very important to understand. We've seen this many, many times throughout the years for those that have been around and invested over a longer period of time, 20 years, 30 years, you get a much better understanding of what I'm about to, to discuss. The rally or bear market rallies tend to trap traders much more than just a, a drop in the market, right? And a, and, a, and a capitulatory move. So for example, if the market really screams to the downside, you know, and we get a really nice reversal, that, believe it or not, is easier to get into than if the market starts to just rally now. If the market rallies, from here, and it goes back up to say 350 on Binance. That looks pretty strong. If we look at the daily chart, I made a mention in my Discord that price here could potentially drive prices if it holds to around about 280. Now, let's say it continues and it gets to 350. That's fantastic. The problem is, is it a bear market rally? 
Is that just basically rallying up to you know an area where it could potentially make things 100 times worse? People pile in, you get that little bit of a push, and then it just drops, and we end up all the way down here. We've seen this many, many times. The US equities market is an absolute classic example of this happening throughout the years. So we have to be careful. We need confirmation. We need to see a complete shift you know, in the market sentiment from bearish to bullish. And there are many, many things that we can track to, you know, to kind of monitor these things, but it's not going to happen in a week or two weeks. I think it's going to take a little bit longer before that filters through, you know, and we see a much stronger confirmational bias in terms of that shift. So we have to be cautious. You know, I think at least go through the month of January with a little bit more of a realistic expectation and just kind of chill through the month, let the market settle, let volume come back into, you know, the, uh, you know, broader markets. And hopefully some of that money filters through into cryptocurrency. Uh, and we'll see how we fare. Because if you look at Bitcoin, for example, Bitcoin's basically just been flat for a very, very long time. We're seeing absolutely nothing on Bitcoin at the moment. You know, we need to see volume come back into the marketplace. So before I get into the analysis, I just want to quickly go over to the Discord and show you for those that are interested, I'm currently running a challenge account, started with a thousand pounds. So basically, you see here trading with LSP, you know, LSP, the link to this discord is in the description below. Uh, everybody's welcome. Obviously, if you want to track what I'm doing in terms of the um, uh, trading, you can see here, obviously, you know, we're starting very slow, you know, at the beginning of this month count is currently up around about 5.9%. Uh, this was yesterday's um, uh, yesterday's day, uh, £23.88. This is the current balance, 1059.47. Um, but yeah, I basically trade, you know, the MY Open and the afternoon session. And again, everybody's welcome. If you want to keep a track of all of this, you know, you're welcome to, uh, you know, to come into the Discord server. And, you know, I'd be very, very interested, you know, uh, not interested, sorry. I'd be very uh, happy, you know, to see um, anybody that wants to come into the Discord and engage. You know, we're always here. We're always, you know, sort of answering questions and going for a lot of things. Uh, in terms of the week ahead, we have Thursday and Friday, very important days in terms of news releases. So I'm expecting volatility across all markets, not necessarily the cryptocurrency market, but Forex and US equities predominantly. Um, so expect a little bit of volatility on Thursday and Friday, um, a little bit maybe on Wednesday in terms of 10 year bond auction. But to be honest, I, I'm, I'm more interested in Thursday and Friday. Uh, Powell is speaking on Tuesday uh, at 2 p.m. GMT time. But again, you know, is it yeah, I mean, this this may move the market, this may not, who knows. Um, but I guess to be uh, mindful that Tuesday could potentially be a sort of volatile day or not. Thursday, Friday, these are the key days for me. So let's get over to the analysis. And in terms of Binance, we'll start here. You can see, as I said, we've had a little bit of a run on Binance, you know, stabilizing in this area. It is possible we have that, you know, sort of secondary pop takes us to around about sort of 280. But the overall sentiment for me is still, you know, sort of bearish. And uh, any movement from here is going to be from this pickup, you know, of, um, of buy side liquidity here. Uh, if we do run, like I said, 280, maybe stretch, you know, for 300. Uh, but again, we've seen movements like this before. Uh, what's slightly different about Binance is that if you take the entire move here, it's actually grinding sideways, you know, with a break, uh, a false breakout to the upside and a false breakout to the downside. So we really need to clear this low if we're going to continue going lower. And we really need to get you know, somewhere around here, 360 and up and hold if we are going to continue going higher. If we go over to Bitcoin, again, as I mentioned, Bitcoin is effectively just grinding sideways. We're not really seeing much of anything. We had that drop here and then price has basically just been consolidating ever since. It's been hovering around about 16,500 to around about 17,000, showing no real indication or signs that anything's coming back into, you know, uh, cryptocurrency. Um, from the Bitcoin side of things, there's no volume, there's nothing, there's nothing effectively. Um, the cryptocurrency markets have all but dried up at the moment. So we need stimulus, we need volume, we need, you know, participants, we need something to happen. Um, and there's many, many factors that could, you know, sort of move crypto. It could be regulation, it could be, you know, uh, news released about CBDCs, it could be something to do with inflation, it could be, you know, a global problem, it could be a disaster. I mean, we don't know. Uh, but at the moment, Anything that's going to happen, like I've said, all of these things that I've just mentioned um, are all negatives as far as I'm concerned, and they could potentially drive prices lower very, very fast. So we have to be mindful of this. So that's the video for today. I hope you found it informative. Um, if you find value in the content that I create, then I really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. You know, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do so. Make sure that you hit the notification bell. 
um, so you know when I go live as I do streams for the market session sometimes. And with all of that said, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day or evening wherever you are in the world, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best. Take care. Ciao for now.